Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. And I'm back with my Month of Hulk Reviews, continuing the Fin Fang Spoon series. Today we are looking at the King Hulk figure. This is figure number 5 from the Wave, and comes with the uh, end of the tail for the Fin Fang Foom. Very cool, very cool figure, really looking to get this guy out of the package. Really want this figure, looks pretty nice. So, got a nice little bio there on the back of the packaging. A little bit of stats there for you. And this was made by Hasbro, of course, in 2007. Very cool wave. So let's take a quick break, and we'll get this guy out of the package. Alright, we're back. And we have King Hulk. First off, it comes with the tip of the Fin Fang Foom tail. And this is the tip. As you can see, it's just nearly as tall as the figure himself. That's not even the full tail. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so... Fin Fang Foom's coming along nicely. And King Hulk comes with a couple of really nice accessories. He's got this really cool sword. It's pretty nice. Got some nice little bit of detail on there. Really like that. And he also comes with a really nice axe. I like the leather look of the handles, kind of brushed with some... It just like some black maybe, but... It, just gives it like a beat up leather look, which looks really nice. <clears throat> it's very cool. And the figure himself. Very nice. Uh, like I said, I was really looking forward to getting this guy out. And it's pretty nice. Let's get a measurement on him. He is right under seven and a half inches tall. And uh, the, only, the only issue I have Minor issue, you know, minor complaint, is the knees are molded to be bent. I mean, he does have knee articulation and everything, but uh, you can see from the front of the joint, that's as far forward as the joint goes, so he's never going to straight stand up any taller than that, which is fine. I mean, he's Hulk. He's not going to have great posture or anything, but I do like a little bit more bit more mobility in the, in the knee joint, but uh, very cool. Pretty nice looking head sculpt. I like all the, the different varieties of head sculpts for Hulk. I think it's kind of interesting just the different looks he's had or whatever. That's pretty nice. And of course he's got his silver arm here. Which is actually pretty nice. It's very cool. Articulation. He's got a nice uh, ball jointed ball joint for his head and then he's got a ball jointed shoulder a cut at the upper bicep a single jointed elbow a swivel at the wrist and a pivot back and forth at the hand no knuckle joints so he's his hands are both molded to hold weapons but I mean they, they make a pretty good fist too so not too much complaint about the hands even though there's no knuckle joint they were molded pretty nicely. You can either put a weapon in them or makes a pretty good fist. So, <clears throat> and then he does have a, a pretty nice torso joint, which moves around pretty well. There's no waist articulation. But he has ball jointed hips. With the cut at the upper hip, and of course I showed you single jointed knee, and then a ball jointed foot, which does not have a side to side pivot. But a lot of good detail on here. There's really, it's a really nice sculpt. You guys can see all the texture that's on it. It's pretty good. A lot of the uh, Hasbro figures don't seem to have the uh, textured look that this has, which is pretty nice. Pretty happy with that. So overall, pretty good figure. Um, not necessarily a must-have for your collection, but uh, definitely a cool figure. So King Hulk, thanks for checking them out.